Mostly coal is what was used for heating. We didn't have power or gas or it was all nature. Having the natural gas, it was just a complete new era. The 36 inch pipeline went right through our yard going to California. If they were gonna benefit by it, why shouldn't we? In 1962, they, uh, after a, a community meeting, created Mayota Gas as a cooperative and said, we will work together to do whatever's necessary to create the first lines to serve the first customers. It uh, brought rural people up to the same type of utility that the cities had enjoyed for years. The Federation was important because we were able to provide a, a common voice. So some 40 years ago in the rural gas program, uh, uh, started. The government seen an advantage for uh, for gas to be provided in rural Alberta. So they invested some dollars, the farmers invested some dollars, and created a program out there that's uh, seen worldwide now as a, as a model. First anywhere in Canada that the whole rural area's got telephones, why wouldn't it work with gas? Well, I had an answer for that. It will. Well, the Federation has done an incredible job in ensuring that that program not only uh, was effective to begin with, but has been maintained and carried on for the last 40 years. The pioneering spirit is still here, even after 100 years of being, being here. We still look at, you know, let's help our neighbours, let's get together, and if somebody won't do it, if the industry won't do it, let's get together and do it ourselves. That's what Federated Co-ops have done, and uh, uh, kudos to them. It was, a, it was establishing a new precedent. Everybody got gas, regardless of how close they were or how far away they were from gas, and everybody paid the same price for gas, too, which was very important in that uh, everybody was equal, and uh, still everybody is equal, and as a gas co-op movement, we're very proud of that. The cooperative model really focuses on putting people ahead of profit, and a common motivation and a common goal. I work for, for 1,200 people. Each of our customers essentially has a stake and a say in the operation of our co-op. Oh no, change never stops in this industry. It's always advancing. Just a lot more to, to think about out in the field than there was 30 years ago. The, the organization itself is almost self-sustaining in coming up with new innovation. It's impossible to stop. When we first started, a lot of people thought that uh, you'd go out and build a gas co-op and that would be that. But uh, 40 years later, there's still challenges and uh, it's become a, you know, a major business. So we have to look at how do we succeed in, uh, in the, the next 20 years? How do we succeed in the next 50 years? It really helps sustain rural Alberta. Uh, it's been a huge part of, of rural Alberta. I can't imagine not having gas out there. When you explain to people who have come from other jurisdictions around the world and talk about a cooperative movement that has helped rural Albertans or rural Canadians move forward with a quality of life, that's a good message.